Hello, dear viewer, and welcome to Bad North Yotun Edition on iOS with me, Jelena. Today, we're continuing in easy mode to get used to the game. This is my first time actually playing it. I have seen it played. Once again, I can recommend probably Baron Von Games, Marmazir. I'm sure a bunch of other people played the Steam version. But uh, yeah, just note that they may have curse words and things. I did turn the blood off. The game is rated 12+, plus, etc., etc. So... Let's go to the Isle of Sanday. I bet Spongebob likes Sanday as a friend. Yoink. But it's not a squirrel shape. So, missed opportunity, guys. Okay, so three houses all on the hill, and then one little one that we want to protect if we want that extra gold. Uh, there are going to be three different types of Viking raiders. The normal dudes, the uh, better armored dudes, and the shield dudes. So... Hmm. Let us just deploy everyone. I was debating if we should just do two, but we don't need to worry about optimization or anything like that. So, we'll keep Hilda on the high ground for now. Actually, we can even move her up here. She has the unlimited plunge ability, so plunge level three. Norman. Actually, we'll keep Norman over here. We'll put Catherine over here, because Catherine is the fastest mover we've got. And our pikes, we will kind of leave up here, so they won't get shot by archers, in case of archers. Okay, Norman, go ahead and move here. And then here. Alright. We could plunge. I think we will. Yeah. High cliffs are no match for tomfoolery! I wanted to wait till everybody was down, but we're actually just too efficient. Well, okay. I'll take it. Uh, move Catherine over here. Move Norman over here. Because they have to go up if they want to get to our buildings, or through us to the small one. So Hilda, I wonder if we can do this. You know what, I might as well use the bomb here. It's really hard to use it properly, but we've got plenty of space right now. Once it hits, it should go off. Boink. But it takes a while to sail through the air. And that's the problem, is really determining how long it's going to be in the air. Uh, these guys have shields, right? Okay, select you. Move you here. You haven't plunged yet, so... Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Select you. Move back up there. I'm gonna do that. And then you can plunge only that direction. Oops. Oh, you can plunge down here. Good. That didn't quite work. Maybe I'll move behind. Okay, good. We were able to put out that fire. Bad plunge, but we tried. Uh, let's go ahead and move back here then. And then you here, and you here. Yeah. We'll do that. Actually, do you need to heal? You do need to heal. We'll do this. As you can see, our little banner goes over the end of the house. It's adorable. Hmm. Okay, good. You should be good. Uh, we want Norman to move into that. He's got the best shields right now. And then, with our fastest mover... Ha ha ha! There we are. Wow, archers just melt. From Catherine. Because we can move so quickly into him. Okay, we got Plunge back on Hilda. She's skillful, so it was also very easy. It was half price for each level of Plunge. That was cool. All right. And it seems like the game is getting louder again. Weird. Okay. Oh yeah, we did fine. And we got mines. Interesting. Never seen that item before. Okay. The gold, we can upgrade somebody else. Sweet. Uh, I'm going to upgrade Catherine, probably. 
Though our pikes could use it. Hmm. Actually, let's upgrade Hilda because she can plunge into danger. So we're going to use Catherine mostly for wiping out archers, I think. Can be placed on the ground when enemies come near. Triggers explosion, which is pretty cool. You know what? Yeah, we're going to do that on either Norman or Catherine. I think we'll give it to Norman. And, oh, we can't unequip it. Whoops. Well, good to know. I should have checked that, but <laughs> it worked out just fine. Then we will rest and go to Garrig. To the monastery at the center of the islands. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Not really. It's not the chapel. The chapel is actually a point that is a checkpoint and doesn't give you gold. Nope. Nope, nope. We have little natural walls. I wonder what those do. I haven't seen those before. Hmm. Well, that's cool. That will probably be very helpful. So we're going to move Norman there for sure. Probably going to leave our pikes in the middle. I'm kind of treating them like worse archers at the moment. Uh, you know what? We'll move you here. Then we'll wait. They can only really attack this one side of the island. That makes our job much easier. Uh, those are little swords, people. With little shields. So that should be pretty simple. We're actually going to move our pikes over here. Uh, move you here. Then we can get ready to plunging attack if we need to. Ah, oh, we lost a little dude. Come on, pikes. I like someone to do their job. Let's go rest these guys then. Alright. We'll do this instead. We've got Norman right here, so I'm not worried about it. In fact, we have two mines, eh? I wonder what happens if we do this. Will the mine, like, destroy the house? It's one coin. It did not. Exploded into midair. That was cool. Okay. Uh, these guys have shields. So let you move here. I think giving the pikes more space from the landing site will help them be able to poke the enemies better. Because when the guys just jump directly into them, they seem to have a lot less capability of defending themselves. Which kind of makes sense. You know. Yeah, our pipes are getting wrecked, aren't they? Hmm. Yeah. Yep. We definitely need to upgrade them next, I think. Okay. Based on how this is looking, we're gonna try to plunging attack here. Maybe plant a mine as well. We'll try the plunging attack first, though. That's pretty good. That's a lot of dudes. Boy. There we go. Worth it. That left us pretty fresh for this next batch of dudes. Oh, wrong. I wanted to swap. There we go. Alright, we have better shields. Uh, you move here, you move here. And then you can go here. Actually, I should have put them here. A little bit better. They are definitely better with swordsmen in front of them. Catherine, go ahead and move here. Move ahead. And we should be able to just... I could have planted a mine. I just wasn't paying enough attention. To that side of the map. Because I knew Norman had it. Norman is our normally great boy. So, all right. There we go. Inch Keith. What a weird name. But yeah, we are definitely doing this. 
And I don't think we need to upgrade the mine. It is clearly nice to have. There's a little wall right there. That's interesting. That might be a good place to put archers, honestly. Feels like they're trying to make archers more relevant with that wall. Okay, well, let's deploy everybody. We need everybody. We're getting some new units on the map, which means we're probably going to be in danger. Yay, danger. Okay. Pikes, you're probably fine where you're at. Um, you can go right here. Yeah, you can't climb up that other side, so we're good. You know what? We are going to swap, though, because Catherine can move fast. Those are archers. How will they move? Yeah, they will move this way. Because there's no connector on the other side. Did I lose somebody already? I did. Lucky shot. Lucky shot. As you can see, our shields are getting the arrows in them. Okay. Let's take out that dude. You go ahead and rest down here. Ah, yes, the big dudes. This is where pikes can come in handy. Uh, we will move you right here. Right there. You did a big job, sir. So yeah, pikes are pretty useful against the big dudes since they don't have shields. But they deal a lot of damage. As you can see, they pack a punch. Go ahead over here. That one. Okay. There. I think we definitely want to upgrade our pikemen at this point. Or start getting archers. That'd be nice. Oh man, they just launched people into the water. What? Go ahead and rest, Norman. Okay. Now I'm trying to select the people behind. Catherine's pretty much fine. Hilda, go ahead up to the top and start preparing you for a plunging attack. That's a big old wave right there. I don't think they have any. Yeah. We'll get ready for our plunge. There we go. Good job, Hilda. <laughs> He's too scared to drop the boat. He's like, nope, it's safe here. You can't harm me when I'm on the boat. Uh, if only that were true. Uh, you know what? I'll place a mine right there. Why the heck not? I will also move you back here. Uh, no, I can't. Okay. Actually, I don't move here. You move here, Pikmin. Let's see if they're better. Oh, okay. That didn't do much to the big dudes. I think I took out one guy. Looks like the mines do hurt us. Okay, Norman, go back and rest. Yeah, ooh, that's bad. Okay, do we have plunge it? No. want a kind of clean area for our bomb. Okay, get ready. No. What? Okay, there it goes. Looks like that worked. Okay. Well, we got it. It took a little bit longer for the bomb to sail through the air than I thought. But yeah, we got the mine. Nice. And then, yeah, we got the big dudes, and there were nine of them. The mine was okay, good set. We got a holy grail. wonder what that does. Healing? Let's find out. 
That is new to me as well. Holy Grail. One fallen commander back to life. Ooh. So you want this on somebody who's not going to fall. So our pikeman seems pretty good for that, except bomb. We don't have enough to get our third level of infantry. So we do want our second level of pikemen. Uh, we can't afford the pike charge. You know what, Hilda's going to be off to the side as well. So we can... Oh, okay, we can't equip the Holy Grail, it just works automatically. That's nice. I actually appreciate that. A lot less worrying about things. Okay. Uh, do we care about doing a day? That is a bunch of money. I think we can afford to do a day and our fuck letter. So yes, we can try this. Maybe our pikes will be better now. That's the hope. Deploy everyone. Okay, Norman. You stay here. Pikeman. You go there. Hilda, you go right here. Catherine, right there. Okay, we see our first canoe. Do they have any archers? We are going to go ahead. our pikes right here. So they have to go one way or the other. And our pikes should be better at doing stuff. As you can see, they now have that little white line on their helmet. Okay, so just poke these dudes. Yoink. Scary looking as those guys were. They went no match. We'll do that. Oh, maybe that was a bad idea. Um, yeah, we'll move. We'll move our packs here. We should be good enough to deal with these big guys. Let's find out. Anybody need healing? Doesn't look like it. So, Catherine, you go ahead and move over here. You're the fastest. Uh, get back up top. So yeah, the pikes are doing a much better job at level 2. Now is when they start getting good. We're gonna move over here. Uh, and we'll place a mine there. In case they try to go around us. And then we'll just actually have Catherine over here. I don't think this is the final wave. Otherwise I would have plunged right there, but no need. Okay. Was that the final wave? No, that is. Um hmm. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Use. The lightning does make it harder sometimes to can use. Looks like there's a bug on the reflection in the water at this stage. Okay. 42 little mini vikings. Okay. So we took down a day. Let's see, what do we want to upgrade next? Plunge is pretty good, it'd be good to have on other stuff. The pike charge could be nice, but I am thinking it would be better to do other stuff. Okay. So let's wait and see if we can go to... Yep, we can. So we can get some more gold. Gold and silver and stuff. 
I guess from the Vikings themselves as well. Unless we're collecting attacks on each island as we go through. Seems more like we're collecting attacks. Hmm. Well, we are preventing their stuff from getting burned down, so maybe that's fair. Seems pretty fair. Wow, so there's a bunch of places to defend here that could all die. Hmm. Alright, since this looks like it will be hard to defend, I'm glad we've got a lot of infantry. So, being able to move will be very useful. Alright, green guy with your mines. So this is the most important building to defend, but this is the most area to defend, I think. Yeah, so we will go here. You want to be kind of centrally located. So we'll move you here. Catherine, you're the fastest. You go there. Hilda, you have plunge. But you're also our second best unit, slash best unit, actually. So we're going to move you here so that you're prepared to do stuff, but you don't have to do stuff. We're going to do that. Move. Place another one right there, just in case. That's probably really, really early on all this stuff. We'll do that. And big dudes over there. We'll try to block them from being able to come up. Okay, so now we want to zoom out. So sadly, you won't get all the action shots. Okay, the mines did that, but we still have to get rid of that. Move in closer. There we go. All right, Catherine, go ahead over here. Move there. Move there. They shouldn't be able to make it to Norman. So we'll try to move Norman around. Okay, we just made it. <laughs> move back, Norman. Okay, our pipes. Yeah, they keep crushing our pipes. That's not great. At least we only lost one of them. So we're move Catherine back here. Pikes back here. Yeah, corners and things I think are the best place for pikes. Actually, going to do this since we can. Actually, yeah, that should work better. I think. Okay. Uh, Catherine, fleet of foot is pretty helpful. I think we're good. Yeah, we can zoom out pretty far. That's nice. And because these are all archers, I am not going to move into my piping. Just like that, that okay. okay. Where's our next? Aha. Mm, we're going to move you up here. You down here. Pikeman, go more central. Just in case, because there should be more boats, right? Right? Maybe? Maybe not. This is easy mode. There we go. He's just staying in the boat. Okay. Move. Move. There we go. All right. So that should be a lot of gold for us. Nine gold. That's our highest net gold right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm really glad we had four commanders for that one. Oof. That would have been nuts otherwise. So now we can finally get our third level unit. Clearly our infantry are our best. 
I think we're gonna get Catherine actually though to level two. That seems better because she's fast and she can do stuff. In fact, I think Fleet of Foot might be the best skill we've run into so far. Do I want Pike Charge? I think I do. At the very least, we can see what it looks like. So now we will go to the Isle of Weltog. Well, Tog, you see, this is my island, I think. Right? Right. Okay, so we've got the big dudes. So I'm glad we upgraded our infantry. Oh, we can only bring three commanders, because we have the local militia dude. Doesn't look like he has any upgrades, so he's going to be kind of worthless. Except at putting out fires, which is still useful. Still useful. You know. Hmm... So, I like Hilda, I like Norman, Celia is going to be useful against the big dudes. <sighs> so, I think the mines are least useful, so we will clear out Norman for Catherine. So, deploy. So that's important to note, because you can't bring all four of your good commanders if you're getting a new commander. Uh, Hilda, Hilda, Hilda. We will keep you up here. Pikes. I'll also go on the heights. Fleet of foot person. Go down here. Okay. So this way Hilda can go to the right if necessary. Militia are pretty much where we want them to be. There is no approach up on the other side of this cliff, so that's good to know. Uh, Hilda will also move right there. I think those are archers. Yeah. Don't want to move our pikes into that. And then Catherine can move to the other side of the island pretty quickly. There we go. Alright. Let's move everybody. That can... Go protect the back. Hmm... We do have the bomb. Yeah, this might be the best time to use it. Well, these all look like pretty wimpy dudes, honestly. So you know what? I'm not going to move through. Oh, okay, now let's give Catherine's units a break. Hilda. Here. Over there. Uh, actually. So we uh, move back here. Those don't look like any little archers, so we should be good. Yeah. Okay, just poking them with the pikes. Okay, now. Move over here with Catherine. Okay. No, you little Viking raider. Okay, you definitely need to heal. You can move over here. Okay, and we'll put out that fire, which is good. Okay. See, this would have been a good spot for Hilda to plunge down, but if you don't have the health for it, you don't have the health for it. I wonder. Hmm. I think we're pretty well positioned already with our pikes. But, yeah. Pikemen, move here. You move there. You move here. Okay, Hilda is rested, that's good. Ah, right, we'll go ahead and stay here. We'll move more centrally. Okay. Like right there? Our pike should be pretty good. Maybe not. Pike, then why aren't you attacking? Why are you stinking? Or no. What? Hmm. Did we just lose our purple dude? We lost our purple dude. Well, that's bad. Okay. 
That went very poorly. Why won't I take an attack? Oops. Er, wait, wait. Move up here. And then we can plunge down right. Nope, I'm wrong. Move, move, move. Uh, you definitely need more health. Well, that was not the best. <laughs> we lost that commander. Oh, man. I was going to try to make him into an archer. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mistakes were made. Okay. Good thing we have four commanders already. Recruited dead. I wonder if the Holy Grail will work on him. Since he was recruited. Let's find out. That would be hilarious. Commanders work? Nope. Since he was dead right after recruitment. Well, okay. Oh, I never used my pike charge skill. That was a huge mistake. Okay. We got good plunge. I think I want to give plunge to everybody. Okay. But clearly we need our third tier units when we can. Cornholm. All right, this will be our last island of the episode, I believe. Corn home. Hmm. So good, there's only one real approach to the big area now. We can kind of leave our pipe in there. Oh, what the? Oops, it let me exit to map. No, no, we're gonna wait. <laughs> Next turn. <laughs> Thank you. Now we'll go to corn home. Okay. Now we should be good. Alright. Catherine, you go here. Hilda, you go here. Pikeman, you go here. Norman, you go here. Alright. Yeah, our pikemen, I am just not clear on where to position them. Usually they're best on the stairs, right? But we keep having more houses to defend. Oh, wrong one. Swap. Thank you. Um, we'll just move you down. These guys don't have shields or anything, so they should be pretty easy. Thankfully this is a small island, so we can be a little more easy. Man! Pike man. Stop it. Get out of that fire, guys. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I could lay a mine down here. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Oh, that activated both mines. But yeah, when those pikemen have a good choke point, they're pretty good. So we'll just leave him to the pikemen. Okay. Uh, we'll move her over here. This is clearly the only way they can move in. Alright, we can also use our pike charge pretty well. On the straight shore. So, this is a good place for the pikemen. So, I'm going to let them take the brunt of the charges right now. In fact, we might even be able to get them to do a pike charge pretty well here. Alright. Let the enemy come. Pike charge! There we go. Oh, these guys released a. Uh, bow shot before they attacked. But as you can see, we were in pretty good position for them after that. I forgot they had Vikings to do that. That's pretty... 
gnarly to do against pikemen. So, yeah. We'll do that. That's another big dude on one little canoe. But I think they're going to do that bow shot again. Let's watch. Lined up on the right side. Left side should be fine. Yep. They do that with the shot. Sometimes. Like only one dude did at that time. Okay. Got seven money. Okay. But pike charge, pretty good when you can pull it off. And then your pike are set up pretty much. Oh! I have heard of that being a bug. Let's hope it remembers where we're at. <laughs> so leave a like if you enjoyed Bad North, Episode 3, dear viewer. And have a great day.